Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a solution to the knapsack problem. Well, uh, a variant of the knapsack problem. Uh, in this problem, we have m items, and each item has its weight and value. Uh, and also, we have a knapsack of uh, capacity W in terms of weight. Uh, so, the objective of this problem is to find the most valuable subset uh, of these m items that fit into the knapsack. So, we have these items, and then we have a knapsack. We need to fit into, uh, we need to find the most valuable subset of these uh, items that fit into the knapsack. Uh, a brute force solution for this would be uh, try out, uh, trying out all subsets of uh, these n items, and uh, among the ones which which fit into the knapsack, uh, find find the one which is most valuable among them. <coughs> so that's a brute force solution. It's an exhaustive search solution to be specific. Uh, because we have uh, 2 power n subsets of uh, n items, uh, it's uh, the time efficiency of this solution would be at least uh, exponential. Uh, so, is there a better solution, better than exponential solution, something like a polynomial solution? Fortunately, there is one uh, by uh, a dynamic programming. So, let's uh, look at a dynamic programming solution to this. Just like uh, most of the dynamic programming solutions, uh, uh, the, the recurrence for the dynamic programming solution is is not very intuitive here also uh, so let's let's try to decode that <coughs> uh, so we wanted to find uh, uh, the best fit for uh, for n items with the knapsack capacity of w right so that's the goal here so we are looking for filling this table table where sl f of ij in general is defined this way uh, we have these items uh, labeled from 1 to n and uh, we have these weights uh, in discrete from uh, 0 to uh, w right uh, so f of i comma j uh, is an optimal solution for the first i items which are allowed to choose with the knapsack capacity of w that is in general right so that's why we wanted uh, this this uh, uh, the value of this cell as the goal right so now what is uh, f of i comma j so uh, the recurrence for that so uh, we have two choices here one is whether to choose i th uh, so in, in this optimal solution there are there are two possibilities uh, one possibility is is uh, i th object is not chosen and another possibility is i th object is not is chosen so if i th object is not chosen the solution is same as uh, uh, optimal solution for i minus 1 objects with the knapsack capacity of j so which is the value of this cell so if i th object is not chosen it is this value if i th object is chosen <coughs> then uh, because we are going to use this weight for uh, w i of the knapsack capacity j so we'll be left with j minus w i as the knapsack capacity and uh, with i minus 1 elements uh, i minus 1 items we can uh, have a solution here so uh, one of these two whichever is maximum we need to use so the max of f of i minus 1 comma j here and vi which is value of ith object in case of ith object is chosen so vi plus f of i minus 1 comma j minus wi vi is the value of the ith object and why why this weight uh, wi is negated from uh, from j is because we are using ith object and this is the weight of the ith object all right so among these two we, we, we need to find the max now uh, there is a special case here when uh, when the weight of the ith object itself is more than j so that happens when uh, when j is 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 less than wi or j minus wi is less than 0 in that case uh, basically the, the this kind of this particular uh, cell is is will be in the negative side so we don't want to uh, have that so in that case obviously ith object we cannot choose at all so we are going to go with uh, this value which is uh, when ith object is not chosen that's why f of i minus 1 comma uh, j uh, is the one is the value when uh, j minus w i is less than 0 All right and these two are base cases which are essentially defining uh, 0 through 0 0 in in, in 0 through and all zeros in 0th column let's see with an example why these zeros are there and then uh, and, and then filling the table <coughs> Why would this row be zero all, all the way? So what is this row is uh, when uh, none of the items are allowed to choose. When the none of when none of the items are allowed to choose, irrespective of capacity of the knapsack, 
uh, we are going to have the value as 0 itself because none of the objects are chosen or items are chosen into the knapsack. And uh, in, the, in this column, all, all of them, all the values are 0 because uh, when uh, the knapsack capacity itself is 0, it doesn't matter how many objects are allowed to choose. We cannot put any objects into the knapsack because the capacity itself is 0. That's why the value is going to be 0. Right. So now in this problem, we have four objects with these weights and values uh, listed here. And uh, we have an knapsack capacity of 6. Let's try to find out uh, the optimal solution for that. So we are going to uh, fill using, using the uh, recurrence we just saw. Uh, for each of these cells from bottom up that means from starting from here uh, we fill out everything and finally when we fill f of uh, 4 comma 6 we'll find the solution let's start with the filling the first one uh, so this value is f of 1 comma 1 which is when only the first item is allowed to choose and the knapsack capacity is 1 so fortunately the first item uh, has the weight of just 1 so we can choose that item and we don't have any other way. So the value of our solution or uh, the optimal solution for this kind of configuration is just 4 because that, that is the value of the first item. All right. So then when we increase the knapsack capacity here, so the knapsack capacity is being increased from 1 to 2 likewise, uh, then uh, because we don't have any other, uh, other items to choose, uh, this value is going to remain as 4. So uh, there is there is only one item of, of this kind of configuration. It's not like I can choose more items of uh, this kind of capacity or this kind of weight and value. So there is only one object, one item. So it's uh, the value is always just four, uh, even when uh, the knapsack capacity is increased. Now <coughs> uh, for f of two comma one, we have two items to do, to choose from, and uh, the knapsack capacity is just one. Now look at this, the second item has weight of 2. So when the knapsack capacity is less than that, we have to go for the earlier case where obviously we cannot choose the second item. So we'll just go with the previous solution which is not choosing the second item. So we, uh, what is the, whatever the solution we already found. So we're go, just going to copy this one. Now uh, f of uh, 2 comma 4 or uh, 2 comma 2, uh, here the knapsack capacity is 2 and 2 items are allowed to choose. So the second item is has uh, weight 2 and value 5. So we have two options here now. Either we don't choose the second item. In that case, this is the solution where only one item is chosen. And or we, we can choose the second item. In that case, uh, I'm already using up the whole of the knapsack capacity, which is 2 here because its weight also is 2. And uh, so that's why this is the solution we are interested in. This plus 5, 5 is the value of this particular item. So 0 plus 5 and 4, which is uh, uh, the max of these two is 5. So we're going to just uh, take 5 as the solution for this value. Now uh, for f of uh, 2 comma 3, now knapsack capacity is 3. So now we need to see max of 4 comma this uh, 5 plus 4. 5 is the value of my second item. And uh, 4 is the solution for uh, f of 1 comma 1 because I need to look for as in because we have used up uh, weight of 2 from capacity 3 so that will reduce to 1 so this is the solution so uh, 4 plus 5 is 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 more than is greater than 4 that's why 9 is the solution we are interested in similarly again 4 plus 5 is better than 4 that's why we're gonna take 9 so we keep doing that going forward and also it's very easy to just say uh, nines all the way because at this point we are already using up both the items we don't have any more items to put into the knapsack so it's going to be just nine all the way now when third row is introduced uh, its weight of the third item is is three so for the first two uh, f of three comma one and f of three comma two we just have to copy from the previous value because third item cannot be used at all right so that's why these 4 and 5 are copied. That means third item cannot be chosen at all. We don't have a choice because the knapsack capacity is less than the weight of uh, this item. Now at this point, now I have a choice. Either go with the previous solution where not using the third item, which is here, or use the third item and uh, value of this one is 0. So 0 plus 10 is 10. So I'm going to just say 10 is better than 9. So I'm going to choose 10. Now here either 9 or 4 plus 10 is 14. 14 is greater so I'm going to choose 14 
or uh, and the next value here is either 9 or 5 plus 10 or 15 let me explain again here at this point so uh, 9 is when the third item is not chosen at all when the capacity is 5 when third item is not chosen it is same as this value so either we go go with this or we choose the third item when we choose the third item value of that item itself is 10 and it uses weight of 3 with the knapsack capacity 5 so we will still left with weight of 2 in the knapsack so that's that is the solution with weight of 2 as uh, with, with the capacity as 2 with, in the knapsack and uh, the first two items are still allowed to choose because we just use the third item so this is that solution 5 so 5 plus 10 is going to be 15 right and same again uh, 19 is 10 plus 9 which is here right now uh, let's go with the last item <coughs> It has weight of 4, so up to knapsack capacity of 3, we don't have a choice of choosing the fourth item. So we're just going to copy this 4, 5, and 10. Now here I have a choice. Either I go with 14 where I don't choose the fourth item, or I choose the fourth item. In that case, it uses all the 4, so it is 0 plus 13, 0 plus 13, which is going to be here. So max of 14, comma 0 plus 13 is 14, so I'm going to take this one. That means for this configuration f4 comma 4, 4, 4, 4 uh, we, we are uh, choosing not choosing fourth item is it will give you the optimal solution now for f4 comma 5, 5 now look at this one either if i don't choose the fourth item uh, the solution i get is 15 if i choose the fourth item it's going to consume 4 weight of 4 out of 5 so this 13 plus this f of 3 comma 1 which is 4 already so 13 plus 4 is 17 17 is greater than 15 I'll, I'm going to go with this uh, 17. Now for the last one, here again I have two options. Either don't choose the fourth item in that case, the value of uh, uh, the solution, the value would be 19. If I choose the fourth item, the value would be uh, 13 plus this one, f of uh, 3 comma 2, so which is 5. So 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 is not greater than 19, so we're going to go with this. So at this point, f4, 6, not choosing the fourth item is, is a good choice. So uh, yeah, that's this is the solution we we are gonna we we need. 19 is the solution. Now looking at this table, suppose these arrows are not there. Even if it arrows are not there, but if the table is filled up, how do we know which items are chosen? Chosen because we know the value is 19, but which items is not very evident here. It can be done actually without even looking at these arrows. Now look at this solution 19. Now look at uh, the one before which is f of i minus 1 comma same j. Uh, so in that these two are same. It, it means we actually got it from here not from uh, it means we we didn't choose the uh, fourth item right. If we had chosen the fourth item it would have been different from 19 it would have been this would have been more than 19 right. So we didn't choose fourth item that is one one thing we can figure out. So and that's why we came from here. Now, how did we get 19? It is not same as 19, 9. So, it is 19 is not same as 9. That means we chose third item. And when we choose third item, weight of the third item is 3. So, it's going to be 6 minus 3 is 3. So, we are going to look in this column in the previous row. So, we came from here. Even without looking at the arrow, we can figure out we came from here. So, 9 plus 10 was 19. That's how we came. So, we chose third item and we came from here. Now, 9 is not same as 4. So uh, we did we chose second item also and how did we come to this this particular cell the weight of this is 2 so it's going to be 3 minus 2 is 1 so in column 1 in the previous row is this one so this was 4 plus 9 5 was 9 here that's how we came so we chose second item also now obviously we chose first item because 4 is not same as 0 all right so we actually came from here so eventually we have chosen uh, item 1, item 2 and item 3 which those are the items which are in, the, in our knapsack in the final solution uh, and obviously the value is this, this 4 plus 5 plus 10 which is 19 here right okay let's uh, we I uh, now let, going back to this this table uh, let me explain all of them once again f of i comma j is uh, the optimal solution for uh, using uh, first i items with the knapsack capacity of j and uh, this value is uh, max of two possible cases in one case we don't choose the ith item in that case the solution is same as this 
and the other case is when we choose the item eighth item uh, if we choose the eighth item uh, the value of eighth item is added to this plus uh, the solution of this one because now y minus one items are allowed to choose with the knapsack capacity reduced by uh, weight of the eighth item which is j minus w i right so that's how we get and we fill the whole table from the beginning here that is bottom up and when we reach at the last point we have the solution right now i have few more problems uh, listed out here uh, you can pause the video at this point and note down these problems and then solve one your one and uh, i am going to flash the solutions uh, in the next slide so the solutions for the previous problems are, are listed here you can verify your solution with this if you have any problem with understanding of this one please comment thank you thank you for watching